One of the biggest challenges today is that we, we have a growing amount of CO2 that's being thrown into the air um, at greater and greater rates, uh, especially in a space when we have very cheap fossil fuels. We're throwing CO2 into the air as emissions. A big challenge is what can we do with that CO2? The key thing that we're showing is that we're able to take carbon dioxide either from ambient air or from smokestacks from natural gas uh, energy electric generation systems and convert that into carbon nanotubes or carbon nanofibers that we can then put into batteries that can replace the current carbon materials that are used in lithium ion batteries today. In this battery system that we've developed, one of the electrodes, so in your, in your battery you have two electrodes, you have packaging, and then you have an intermediate layer between the two electrodes. So just under 50% of that battery in this case, so maybe about 40% when you assume the, the separator um, without considering the packaging, which the packaging depends on size of the battery. But ultimately, with that battery, let's say 40% of it without packaging is derived from CO2. I think this opens up a whole, you know, it unlocks this whole space of research where now you can take carbon dioxide and you can make usable products to overcome big challenges in technology. It is fascinating to me that you know, ultimately, if you think about an, a, a traditional car that's producing carbon dioxide as, as an output, right? Ultimately, what we're doing is we're taking those emissions, we're converting them into a material that now we can put into electric vehicles. So in some sense, we can almost use electric vehicles to mend the sins of all of the the carbon dioxide that we've thrown into the air by using fossil fuels.